The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. This summer, embark on a transformative journey with the Believer's Walk of Faith as we dive into the foundational teachings of faith. Join Dr. Bill Winston in our powerful summer series, Back to the Basics, where we'll unlock the timeless wisdom and revelation for walking by faith from his extensive library. We're going back to old school. Yes, Say amen. amen. We're going back to the oldies but goodies. These are things that'll work for you. I don't care what season you're in. I don't care whether you got a PhD or no D. I don't care whether you're in Africa or in Asia. This will work for you anytime, any place. Get ready for the basic fundamentals for every believer to live a victorious life as a kingdom citizen. Don't miss out. Tune in every week to gain understanding, revelation, and reignite your commitment of faith. Watch every week on Believer's Walk of Faith and spread the word. Well, hello, this is Bill Winston. Welcome to another program. The program that you're watching is called The Believer's Walk of Faith, where we walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, we got a powerhouse for you today. We're going to be talking about this blessing and how this blessing is affecting people's lives, specifically commanding the blessing. Now, I'm going to be giving you some background in this teaching, but it's needed because you want a revelation of this blessing. You want to get this knowledge of this blessing down into you. Why? So that faith will come for that blessing. You see, although you may be blessed, you need faith to activate it. Now, a couple of things we're going to be bringing out. One is that the same power that brought all matter into being, that God used to bring all matter into being. Now, this is that same power called the blessing that's transferred to Adam. Now, now Adam, of course, we know he got into a transgression, but that blessing came back on Abraham and it spread to Abraham and his seed. We are the seed of Abraham. Number two, this blessing is irreversible. Once it comes on you, you can't wash it off. <laughs> no devil can separate you from it. You can't outgrow it. It is on you for life. Praise God. And number three, that this blessing now, once it's transferred, you have to receive it by faith. And that's what a lot of people have not done because they haven't been taught faith. But you have to activate this blessing by faith. Remember when Jacob got blessed by his father, uh, uh, Isaac, Notice when his father blessed him, he just spoke it. Well, Jacob had to receive it. Well, notice when Jacob, his father spoke it, Jacob jumped up and ran out. <laughs> he, he believed it. And Isaac, when he spoke it on him, notice Esau came in and asked to be blessed. He said, I just blessed you. He said, no, you didn't bless me. You blessed somebody else. He said, that was Jacob. And so notice Esau couldn't get it. Why? Because by faith it was released. By faith, it was received. As I teach this today, by faith, you receive and watch the miracle start happening in your life. Let's go into it. It's called commanding the blessing. This supernatural power is the same power that God released that brought all matter into being. It's the same power. The scripture calls the power that created all matter the blessing. Now this blessing that we see here is something that we found in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 first. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And I said that we have dominion over creeps. And then I went on to verse 8, 28. And I said, he said, and God blessed them and said, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth earth. So now God is giving Adam this blessing. Now he said that God blessed them and said to them, he wasn't communicating there. I know that's what it 
looks like in that scripture. But he was transferring power. So he was transferring an empowerment or an enablement on Adam that Adam could continue the creation on the earth that God started on the universe. So as God now has created a spot called Eden in the earth, he created a man outside of Eden and then brought him and put him in the garden. So now Adam is in the garden. As you remember in Genesis chapter, chapter 2 and verse 7, it says that God made, formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. He now breathed into him. They, I was looking it up in a, in a, 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 a there's a, a set of reference books called Hamash um, and it's a translation of the direct Hebrew. It's, I guess, what the rabbis use and so forth. But it said that man became a speaking spirit like God. So when God said he made him in his own image and after his likeness, he put his nature in him, he put everything in him, all right? Now he blessed him. So now Adam is going to manage the earth through this blessing. So he said, be fruitful. Am I right about it? So he couldn't be fruitful until God said it. Multiply. Then he said replenish. Replenish means to stock with abundance. Or another definition is to perpetually renew it and resupply it. To resupply it. Now you see how that plays on down uh, when Jesus comes. Now, this blessing is this empowerment that God puts on a person that affects, changes, and improves their whole life. It, it causes things to manifest. This blessing causes opportunities and resources to come to you. He said over in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, he said, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. I want you to get this because once Adam sinned, he struggled with life. Part of the uh, results of him in sin is that he had to toil for everything. He had to toil for everything, even mental toil. For you to say, oh Lord, what are we going to do now? That is toil. And, and God never intended for you to do that because it wears your body out. It wears, it's, it's not intended. So we're getting back to the garden now. Say I'm going back to the garden. <laughs> So in that, I showed you a, an example of this new life. And I showed you in Luke chapter 5. Now watch Luke chapter 5 and look at Luke chapter 5, starting at verse 1. And it came to pass that as, as people pressed upon him and hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. This is Jesus. And he saw two ships standing by the lake. The fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered in one of the ships, which was Simon's, and he prayed him that he would thrust it out a little from the land. Well, he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. Now, that's what it says there. But the real translation says, launch out into the deep, let down your nets, and you'll catch a lot of fish. Now, that's a little bit different, but that's what it says. All right, look at the next verse. And then Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have what? Toil. Where did toil come in at? It, it came into curse. When Adam sinned, then he was toiling the rest of his life. Toiling means to labor with fatigue and pain and so forth and so on. Now, look, all that night and have taken how much? Nothing. Nevertheless, at thy what? Word, what am I going to do? I'm going to let down the net. Watch this. And then... When he had done this, he, they enclosed how much fish? A great multitude of fish. And what happened? The net broke. Then he called for his partners, which were in the other ship, that they'd come and help him. And he, they came and filled how many ships? Both ships. So they began to sink. Look at the next verse. And Simon, when he saw it, he fell down to Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, I'm a what? Sinful man, O Lord. Why? 
for he was astonished, and all that were with him at the what? Draw the fishes which they had taken. Now put NIV of translation of Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 22 up there again, and let me show you how that fits together. The blessing of the Lord, what? Brings wealth without painful toil for it. Now, he, here's the deal about this. You, you might say, wait a minute now, these are just the words of a man he's preaching. Well, God uses a man. God has designed a system so that we are to get saved through the preaching of a man. Amen. Got it? He has chosen that uh, operation, that process by which you will hear the word of God and be delivered. Say amen to that. But I want you to see this now. This is very important. The blessing of the Lord, what? Br no, 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 no. Brings, well, I want you to think. I'm going to let you see that you can't fail. The blessing guarantees your success. Not one fish sat on the shore and say, not today, Jesus. Not one fish. Why? Because the blessing was in operation and this blessing brings stuff to you. Come on. It brings ideas. Come on. The blessing brings resources. The blessing brings, I'm telling you, Adam was made like God. God didn't have to go out and get something. The animals were brought to Adam for him to name them. Come on now. I'm not saying you get lazy because pe Peter had to go out. And so you do work, but you work on another level. You work knowing that the blessing is going to work for you. Now, if you don't believe it, it won't work for you. But if you believe it, it'll work. Say amen to that. All right. Now, faith guarantees that you possess your possessions. It activates heaven to make what you believe a reality. Most of what God has planned for your life has not been manifested if you have not been living by faith. That is a powerful statement. Most of what God has planned for your life has not been manifested if you haven't been living by faith. Now, do you see that? Because faith is the only way you're going to get your inheritance. And if faith is the only way you can get your inheritance, then you don't have any faith then all your inheritance is still out there. Is this the right bunch I'm talking to? Now, what, what you came in here to do today is to listen to the preacher. Because I'm, look what he says, glory to God. Look what he says over in Romans chapter 10, verse 14. How then shall they call in him who they've not believed? And how shall they believe in him who they've not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher. And how shall they preach except they be sent? I was sent. I was sent with $200, but I was sent. Say amen to that. Look at verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you faith for the promise is in the promise. So when you hear about the promise, faith is in the promise for you to access the promise. I'm taking you to the top. This, this, and it's not hard, folks. You, you, you look at Joseph's life. It wasn't hard. I mean, only they tried to kill him, but they couldn't. They couldn't kill him because, see, when he put on that jacket, his father made him a coat of what? Many colors. Notice, when it says his father gave him the coat, it changed it to Israel. Because his father had to take on a revelatory name because he saw. Say amen to that. See, he saw something and he gave him that coat. Once he gave him that coat, now next thing you know, the coat got snatched off of him. That represents a blessing. That once that blessing is on you, it can't get snatched off. Say amen to this. 
<laughs> let, let me, are y'all still here with me? Well, I got some stuff for you today that's dangerous. That when, when, when Jake, when Isaac blessed Jacob, he knew he had the right and authority to bless him. When he blessed him. Now he blessed him with the blessing, but notice what Esau did. Esau didn't value the blessing. He despised it. And there might be some people sitting up here looking at me right now, looking at me like a calf with a new gate. And, and they're looking at me, man, what is that all about? It's all about your future. It, it's all about you finishing the work that God has called you to do. And, and, and what happened, he didn't value that blessing. And because he didn't value that blessing, now he's out there eating himself out of house and home because he had to get some, something to eat and so forth. But Isaac knew when he blessed Jacob, it was done. He didn't need to follow him out through life. He knew that if he ever released it, nothing could separate him from it. I said nothing can separate it from it. But what you got is blessing blockers. Come on now. I'm talking about blessing blockers like unforgiveness. That's a blessing blocker. Come on, low self-esteem, that's a blessing blocker. I'm talking about uh, things that, 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 that the enemy tries to call you in to make you do and get involved in that have nothing to do with the blessing of God. I have some down here. Condemnation is a blessing blocker. B uh, bi uh, bitterness and anger and unforgiveness is a blessing blocker. Come on, strife is a blessing. Get out of strife. You in strife right now? Tell them, here's what uh, Abraham said. Abraham said, Lot, whatever place you want, you can take it. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. Why was he doing that? Because the blessing will go make the Eden out of every place he went. It didn't make any difference. I'm telling you, if we get this, we can march to the worst neighborhoods in Chicago and turn them, I'm telling you, and we can turn them to the Garden of Eden with the spoken word. Man, you got to get this. This is not hard. You don't toil with this. You speak the word only. He said, I've set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Choose life that you and your seed may live. He said, life and death are where? In the power of the tongue. You can bring life to a dead neighborhood by speaking the word of God. You decree it in the air. The atmosphere will start shifting. God saw darkness and what did he call it? Light. He gave you the same blessing. It's on you right now. Now you can despise it. You can forget about it. You can get in strife and cause it not to work. But I'm telling you right now, you're going to be held accountable because I'm preaching to you and you hear me right now and you're going to be held accountable for what I'm preaching. If you hadn't heard it, that might be a different thing. But you hearing this. Now it's up to you to speak to that bank account. It's up to you to speak to that job. It's up to you to speak to that neighborhood. Sit down. Man, let's stop playing with this thing. The people over there in Africa where I came from, they're serious about the word. You start speaking this stuff and boy, they'd be handling that stuff before they get out of that church. They'd be speaking stuff like I don't know what. And here people, eh, I ain't the lie. What you need to do is make up your mind. You're going to either be serious about this or leave this stuff alone. This stuff is made for people who want to go into Canaan. People who want to get God's best in their life and want to shift this earth for the kingdom of God. Man, that's where we're coming from. I'm telling you, this is our time, saints, and I ain't letting nobody sit down and get in my way. You get it, you better get out the way because I'm running, I'm telling you. Sit down. He kept taking his coat. That coat represented the blessing. That thing sticks to you. You can't get it off. And think about it, once Isaac blessed Jacob, check it out. He knew 
it was irreversible. And once God blesses you, I said, once God blesses you, it is irreversible. He made it that way because he is expecting you. You might have got into this and got into that. Shake it off. Okay, go before God. Say, Lord, forgive me for that. Once you do, he cleanses you of all unrighteousness and get back into speaking and saying and thinking and believing and let God have his way. Folks, we got to change this earth. This stuff is coming up and things are happening here and we're just allowing it. And we're the most powerful institution in the the world that's ever been here folks we can stop some stuff by speaking some stuff man I'm getting carried away here if you're not living by faith most of what's supposed to be in your life is not there So you may as well start living by faith. Yes. Find out what faith is, how it comes, and how to turn it loose. And God wants you to know that, folks. Say amen. amen. So it doesn't make any difference what field you're in or what profession you're in. You're going to the top. Yes. And the Satan is, Satan plans blockers. He plans to get you in strife over here, get you in unforgiveness and mad at your boss. You didn't see no place where Joseph was mad at Potiphar. Hey, Potiphar was a heathen. He was paying poke on Friday night. Joseph, Joseph pull me another drink of that. Get it coming. Hurry up. Give it here. You know? He didn't say, uh -uh. you know, Joseph just served him. Because he was on his way. Oh. So it's way up, folks. Come on, you, I'm on my way. Oh. You might make some mistakes, by the way, but let me tell you, God is bigger than your mistakes. And it might seem like you're caught in a struggle, but just stay right there. Because God is going to turn it to your advantage. Every time. He, he likes it when it looks like you are the underdog. Yeah. You know what I mean by that? I mean, when it looks like you, you know, you little David. And that's what Goliath did. He called him, said, you little runt. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just putting that in first Winston. He said, you know, you, yeah, who are you coming out here with a stick? Uh, you know, God likes it when you get in, don't have but 300 people. And, and you, was, you was just voted the stupidest one in town. You know what I mean? He, he likes it when you're coming off like that. He's going to take the foolish things and confound the world. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying, wait, wait, wait. you come in here, don't just come in here to, to keep company with somebody. Amen. Hey, wait, wait, I ain't got time for that. This, this, this scene ain't made for you to just keep company. It's made for you to get this word that I'm preaching and go back out here and stop the devil from stopping Amen. people and, and, and ruining their lives. Amen. Oh, we're we, we, we going to do this thing. Amen. So notice, when he blessed Jacob, he knew it was irreversible. Think about it. He knew it. But that's because he had faith in that blessing. And he knew the rules of it. Yeah. You can't turn it back yeah. once it's released. Mm -hmm. God said himself, Christ has redeemed you yeah. from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us and curses everyone that hangeth on a tree so that the blessing of Abraham right on you right now. Watch this. Now step out on it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to do stuff in your ability. It's not enough. Step out on his ability. Increase your confidence in the blessing to manifest all the promises of God for your life in Pastor Winston's dynamic teaching, Commanding the Blessing. 
to order your copy of this life-changing message on CD or MP3 on DVD or MP4. Contact us online at BillWinston.org. You can also call us at 1-800-711-9327. Hello, this is Bill Winston. Let me ask you a question. Do you sense something missing in your life? I mean, you've been searching and buying it, whatever you do, but there's still a void somewhere. Well, I can guarantee you this. God has a place inside of all of us that only He can fill. When I was in my life, I mean, I'd gone to places and relationships and all kinds of things, but nothing satisfied. But one night a lady took me to a meeting in Chicago, and I confessed Jesus as my Lord and Savior. He came into my heart. Once He did that, everything was settled. I tell you, from there on, I mean, the world just opened up to me, ideas, everything else. I'm saying to you, I'm not sure what you're looking for, but I guarantee you, if you don't have Jesus, something major is missing. Let's, I can invite you right now to just say, Jesus, come into my life. Live your life in me and through me forever. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, I want to send you my book. It's called Born Again and Spirit-Filled. Now, it tells you what the next steps are as a born-again believer. I want to be the first to say, welcome to the family of Almighty God. God bless you. Revival is here. Join us for the 2024 International Faith Conference hosted by Dr. Bill Winston. Sunday, September 8th through Friday, September 13th, 2024. Inspired by Isaiah 61.4 NLT. This year's theme is Faith for Revival. Six generals of faith will release electrifying messages to supercharge your faith and transform your life. Each night, a sensational musical artist will lead us in worship, lifting our spirits as we press into a deeper connection with God. An unforgettable experience that you don't want to miss. Register now at ifc.billwinston.org to join us in person at Living Word Christian Center in Forest Park, Illinois, or online. A week of miracles, breakthroughs, and a revival like never before awaits you. We can't wait to see you there. Sometimes, as we grow in our Christian walk, we forget about the basics that got us there. Yet, the basics of our faith are the very foundation we need to be successful in our relationship with the Lord and with others, and to fulfill God's plan and purpose for our kingdom destiny. In this Back to the Basics series, a powerful compilation of 16 series of dynamic teachings by Dr. Bill Winston, you will learn how to renew and re-energize your Christian walk. Get your copy of this must-have series on USB. To order, go online at billwinston.org or call us at one 800 7119327 The mission of Bill Winston Ministries is to preach the gospel of the kingdom throughout the world. Thank you Bill Winston Ministry partners and viewers for your continuous support of the Believers Walk of Faith broadcast. Now remember, you need faith to get to your destiny. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. This is Bill Winston. I love you and keep walking by faith.